First, I'm taking some liquid latex and stippling that over my face and letting it dry to give my face some texture. Then I'm going to be using cotton and liquid latex and toilet paper to build up my eyebrows, my cheeks, and my chin. Okay, so it's best to apply a couple layers of latex. I found using my finger worked better than a sponge um, because it was sticking to the cotton. After I did that, I applied a couple layers of toilet paper, let it dry, and then applied another layer of toilet paper and powdered in between each layer uh, just to get it built up to the shape that you want. Now I'm just taking the toilet paper, cotton, and latex and shaping everything into the general shape that I want. You can do this whenever it started to dry just a little bit. Um, it's pretty moldable um, if you just let it dry to almost dry and start working with it. Next I'm going to do the cheeks and I'm going to just take thin sheets of toilet paper and keep layering them on top of the cotton and powdering in between each. Alright, now I'm just using my finger and some Mayron Clown White to go over everything. I would not use Mayron Clown White again. I don't know, it was like putting honey on my face. It just would not move. It was so sticky. Um, so I would probably get a grease paint or something else next time. So I'm just using my finger to apply that. I'm going to do my entire face white. I'm leaving around my areas open because I'm going to make those a little bit darker. And make sure that you powder after you put on your paint. Okay, just looking at a picture for reference, I'm just thinning out my nose and hollowing out my cheeks and I'm going to do down the sides of my mouth just to give my face a puppet-like appearance. You can use a black eyeliner or a water activated palette, um, pretty much whatever you want to use that's black. You just want to make sure that you blend out that line whenever you're done. Now I've just blended out the lines on my face just to soften the line and now I'm going in with a black grease paint. I think it's the Makeup Forever Flash palette and I'm just going around my eyes just to blacken them out and make sure that you powder after that with black eyeshadow. Time for the swirls. I'm just using my Mayron Water Activated Makeup Palette and this is just a red color and a thin art brush. Now I'm not really good at freehand painting on my face so the good thing about this is it's not really perfect and neat. So if you feel better or more comfortable using a lip liner and drawing it on, you can. Just be careful not to push the cheeks down too much. Um, you could probably use a red grease paint too if you didn't have that or maybe even a red lipstick and a thin brush. So I'm just starting at the center and working my way out, concentrating real hard. 
Using the same Mayron palette in the color red, I'm just making a moon shape on my face and taking the corners up really high just underneath the shading of the cheeks. I just added some red contacts, a black wig, a suit jacket, a white shirt, and a bow tie, and your costume is complete. Thanks for watching!